so so far in our project we've been using uh the default roboto um font here so if i zoom in here like for example in our login page or logo everything's uh, been using that roboto font uh, up until our main pages here actually uh where we started using some of the ios components um if you remember, for example, for our tab bar and the navigation bars here. Um, so once we started using that, everything kind of automatically switched to the default font that comes for iPhone's uh, UI that we also installed, uh, which is SF Pro Display. Um, so I know this is super messy right now because in your projects, you typically want to stick to one or two fonts at most. Uh, you don't want to have multiple font combinations. Um, and we also talked about this in our UX uh, lesson as well. So let's just work our way from the login page in. So of course we have the option of going in and changing uh, every text uh, to our new fonts uh, that we downloaded, but I want to also show you a great way where you can set up styles just like we set up styles for our colors if you remember we set up a color scheme um, i want to show you how you can actually use styles for your typography and your text as well so to add a type style to your figma project um, let's go ahead and first select a text uh, let's start with this logo text here so we installed these two fonts. Uh, typically, you want to use one font for your headings, um, so titles and logo text and things like that. And then the body text would be for everything else. So in this case, our uh, header font is Rubik and the body font is going to be Carla. Uh, so let's apply Rubik here to this uh, logo text. So go over here to where it says text. You can change the font by either browsing through here um, or or you can also just go ahead and type the font name in here. So I already know it's Rubik, so I'm going to search that in here. And now we have Rubik uh, applied here. I'm going to just apply a medium weight here. Um, you can do other ones, like if you want to go really thick uh, with black or really light. Um, I think I like the medium here. It looks pretty good. It's standing out and it doesn't blend in. Um, so let's go ahead and use that. So sometimes when you change fonts, uh, your alignment might uh, be changed. So go ahead and just uh, double check that everything is aligned properly um, and make sure you, I'm just going to make sure this logo is aligned right in the middle as well. I think that looks good now. So now let's go ahead and turn this into a type style that we can use uh, on all the other pages. And again, the benefit is that if you at any point decide to change this font, uh, you'll be able to do so in one place and all of your pages will have that font and the styling applied. Uh, so let's go ahead and go to style here. Let's create a new style. And I just want to name it um, header, do a little dash, and then just give it the name of the font here. So it's Rubik. Let's do 26 point. That's just a name here. You don't have to put exactly what I'm putting in here. This is just for me to be able to identify my header uh, font and easily see what uh, size and font it is. So create style. And so now, as you can see here, uh, if I go ahead and click on this again, uh, this text has been attached to this type style of header, Rubik 26. Uh, so to demonstrate, uh, if I go to this uh, tutorial card, for example, um, now if you remember, this is an instance of a component. So we wouldn't want to edit things in here because otherwise it wouldn't be applied to the other uh, tutorial card. So let's go ahead and go to master component from here. And it should take us right here. Now, if I go ahead and click the title over here and then go to my styles here, I can apply the same header Rubik 26 uh, style. That's the only style we have right now. But let's also set up a body style for this text here using our other font, which is Carla. Let's go ahead and change the text to Carla. And let's go ahead and maybe bump up the size to 17. Let's go ahead and create style. Let's do body dash Carla and this one was 17 point create style there we go and now I have a body style uh, text style as well so while we're in here with our components let's go ahead and apply that to all the components here so let's select our button enabled here and change the text to Carla as well and then I want to go ahead and make it bold and change the font size here to 17 as well I'm just going to make sure that it's centered here. That looks good. Go, let's go ahead and create a style for our button text here as well. 
So I'm going I'm going to do body Carla 17 point bold in here. There we go. So now that button has that style. It's even applied in here as well because again, this is an instance of this the uh, this button right here. All right, so let's go ahead and apply our fonts to our uh, two components here. So first one, the store card. So let's go ahead and select this text here. Um, we're gonna set it to our Rubik font here. Uh, let's do medium for the size. I think we can do 22. Let's go ahead and add this text style as header Rubik 22. Now remember, you don't have to create um, a style for every font, uh, but if you think you're gonna reuse a certain font or the same, a certain style of font uh, on multiple pages or multiple components, um, I think this is the better way to do it than to individually change all of them. So let's go here and then select our styles and do body Carlos 17. Same thing here. Lastly, here as well. Let's go ahead and just make sure everything's uh, centered Gonna center all of these, that looks good. Make sure these are also centered, perfect. Let's go over here. Let's, uh, in our services list uh, component, let's go ahead and change this one to the header Rubik 22 that we set up. And these ones are gonna be the body Carla 17. So with those selected, let's do um, body Carla 17 and then um, maybe do bold for the price here. So let's unlink this or detach this style and do the style of body Carla 17 bold. I think that looks better. Why don't we go ahead and just um, bring this a few pixels down, a few pixels up, and then go ahead and bring my store name here down and try to align that with the other text here. And maybe we can bring this a few pixels down. I think that might look better. I'm gonna go ahead and group these two together as well using command G and then go ahead and select these two and make sure they're centered and also center them along with the rest of the component here. I think that's good. Uh, so our components here now have the right font. So why don't we take a quick pause and then apply our textiles to the rest of our mockups in the next lesson.